Okay, oh, we got okay. it. Now we're in, business, my friends. <laughs> I know it's a little different as you're driving, and don't worry, I'm not physically driving. I'm a, I'm the passenger. But um, <laughs> we're so excited to do these lunch and learns, and I'm just so grateful for all the women that have the go give heart, like Brendan, just willing to get on here and. You know, because we're all consultants, directors, you know, we're all from different divisions. Sometimes nationals are on here. And what I love is it's just truly a tribe and a community and a connection that we can all get midweek. And I know many said today is their first one they heard about at seminar. These things literally are taking off. It's out of control. I had one gal tell me they've been translating it and sending it to people in other countries even, which I think is so cool. And mm -hmm. so definitely not what I thought was gonna happen when I started these, but I love it. And so if you're joining, <laughs> everyone always asks, I, within 24 hours, I typically put the recording on my YouTube channel and then help everyone learn about it is probably where you see the posting of the recording, just so you know. Um, and we'll send that right out to everybody. So usually it takes about a day, and you're welcome to share with anybody and everybody. If you have consultants, team members, power partners, Mary Kay girlfriends, and different states or divisions, it truly is one. Fred, I just want to tell you how much I love and appreciate you for just your go give heart and taking time to be on here. And towards month in, crazy busy July, and you are on here. And I'm going to tell you, I got the privilege and honor of, I can't remember what we were on, but there was a teaching where you were sharing your customers. To national sales. That was a game changer. And I had two consultants this year and more training and your information on that. So I wanted you to know that because you've made a huge difference. And I just adore you and I appreciate you so much. And I'm going to mute and let you take over, my friend. Okay. Well, I have a timer set because I could actually go for days. And, and never stop talking. I think I'll make Jesus talking. So, but um, one of the things that I wanted to say, and I have notes because I can, my brain can go everywhere. So I do have notes, but I wanted to see how many of you want to be somewhere different next year. How many of you all? Okay, so some of you, uh, I can't see most of you have pictures up, but I'm just going to assume that everybody's raising their hand uh, because I think we all want to be somewhere different. We want to be, um, you know, of course, we all want to go up. And so um, my first question would be, uh, do you have your goals written down? Uh, do you have them broke down? Do you know exactly what it is that you want, whether it's small or large? They have got to be written down because a confused mind shuts down. Okay. So we have so many things that we can be working for. Oh my gosh. We can be working for the jewelry of the month. We can be working on Queens quarter share and we can be working on being a star. We can work on being uh, in the national court of sales. We can work on earning a car. We can work on being a director. It's like our brain can just, it just goes everywhere. And so one of the things that, that I learned before I even got to seminar, I don't know, it was just so funny that I was actually going to have y'all take your cell phone and pull up GPS and just hit a destination. And I wanted her to just talk. And then I was going to talk over her. Okay. Because that happened to us going to seminar. And it made me realize, oh my gosh, when we don't have one goal and we're not focused on that one goal, it is like going on a trip um, for one, not even having a goal, but having different destinations. So what happened to us was we were trying to get to the Omni, but so we had the, uh, we had on my car, we had the destination to the Omni. And then we decided we wanted to eat before we got to the Omni. So we put, use somebody's phone and the GPS was on her phone. And all of a sudden we told the girl driving, which I would have done the same thing. So it's not knocking her, but we tell the girl driving, now don't listen because we didn't want to change the destination to the Omni. So we put it on, we put the one on the phone and the one in the car was talking, but we were saying, ignore her, ignore her, just listen to the phone. And so we, we're driving and all of a sudden she was like listening to the GPS on the car. It was like, no, listen to the GPS on the phone. And it, 
I realized at that point, that's how we are in running our business. Like we're always going to revert back to the voice in our head that is familiar. Does that make sense? I don't even know this wasn't part of my training, but I thought I would share that today because if we don't have one goal that we're focused on, our brain is going to be like the two GPS is going off and we're trying to listen to both of them, but you're always going to revert back to the one that's most familiar, which is, oh my gosh, this is too hard or this really can't be done. And I say that because I have been there and done that. OK, uh, I've been building my uh, my Mary Kay business for 30 years. Uh, I joined Mary Kay working a full time job. I had two babies. They were they were two and four. I uh, had a husband, and a house. And uh, so I was trying to juggle them all. And uh, so I have been uh, where a lot of you all have been. And then the babies grew into teenagers. And I did want to share that, you know, you want to be with your babies when they're babies because you want to be the one to raise them and give them your values. Um, but those teenagers, it's even more important that you're with them because you need to know that they're at home and who is with them. <laughs> so I uh, just want you to say that it doesn't matter what stage. Now I'm in uh, the stage of being a grandmother. And so I've had babies, I've had teenagers, now I've got grandbabies. And so I have been in every stage of Mary Kay. Uh, when I joined, I truly never joined to earn pink Cadillacs. I never joined for anything like that except I wanted to make 50 extra dollars for my family uh, and that would be cool for me. And so I actually started the business and I truly just fell in love with it. Now, one of the things that almost tripped me up, actually, I probably didn't even know I was going to be doing that or I probably wouldn't have signed up with speaking uh, because to talk in front of people was the hardest thing for me. So um, doing this today, the first thing you want to do is start prejudging of oh my gosh all those other direct you know you do all of those things so I just prayed that the Lord would help me say what I needed to say that would help y'all build your business and and I think the biggest thing that you could do is you want to <clears throat> set a goal and stay focused on that one goal and I'm going to tell you when you set one goal for the most part it will take you anywhere you want to go um, I have told my consultants for years that if they would just do two parties a week, that they could have anything in Mary Kay that they wanted. Uh, that is my experience. I guess I need to put that on there. That's my experience. Um, because as I said, I joined for 50 extra dollars a week. Uh, then I became a uh, sales director within um, like a year. Uh, then the next full year as being a director, our unit did half million. Um, and then we did uh, 550,000. Then we did 650. So I have three bar pins, but we've done like 28 unit clubs. But I only have three bar pins because our first year we did half million and then on up. So I'm very proud of them. And I'm proud because I think the biggest thing is, is I teach my consultants how to sell the product. And I think if you do nothing else, you could pay your bills on selling this product. And so um, I, I will show you this. Um, for most of you all, if you don't have this information that I'm gonna share, and I know I got to talk fast, uh, but if you don't have this information, I think Jennifer or maybe your director has it. If not, uh, they can contact me or you can contact me and I'll send it to you. So I'm not going to be able to go in depth on most of the training on the 40 customer notebook, but it is on YouTube under my channel. So you can go there and subscribe and learn all about it because you won't have, I won't give you a lot of detail on it today, but I did also want to share with you the menu of Mary Kay. Uh, that there is there is a way to to get to directorship. I have consultants that will ask me um, how long will it take me to get to directorship, and I think that's the wrong question. I think the question is uh, how much time do you have, and how quick do you want to get there? Uh, because seriously, um, based on the company average of recruiting, if 
one out of four people that you talk to about the Mary Kay Opportunity recruits, then you are thir uh, 60 parties away, okay? 60 parties away. I can also send this if nobody has that, but y'all already may have that. But 60 or, uh, yeah, 60 parties away from being a sales director. Maybe you don't want to be a sales director. That's okay. It's whatever you want. It's what your director will be excited about. 36 parties away from earning a free car for your family. And I think when you decide this is what you want to do, when you realize, because a lot of times people think, oh my gosh, like it'll take me, um, like I'll have consultants say by Christmas, I want to be a red jacket. And I think it's only, they say that because they really don't understand that there are only four parties away or uh, to be a red jacket, actually six parties away from being a, a star team builder, whatever you want to call it, uh, a star team builder, six parties. So that's saying you want to do one party a month. Okay. What are we six months away? Uh, from Christmas or something. But anyway, so when you really realize the activity that it takes, then it's going to make so much more sense of like, oh my gosh, I'm 60 parties away. How long do I want to take to get there? Okay. So uh, I wanted to also share with you about my 40 customer notebook because now we have earned uh, 14 pink Cadillacs, um, we have, I, I, I've been so blessed in this business, uh, that the Lord has given me great consultants and great customers to work with. Um, uh, but for in all honesty, probably the first 20 years I spent my, my business chasing new customers. Uh, so I would get new customers. Now I was the customer or the consultant that if you needed your product, you got it. Like if they said they needed it today, it was an inconvenience to me. They would get their product today because I believe in servicing your customers and making them happy. And so uh, I was a consultant that really did take care of my people, but I would lose them. Once the profile card got put up, I would put them on PCP, but unless they called me, I didn't always call them. And I, I wouldn't mean to not call them. It was just once they were, their profile card was filed, it was out of sight, out of mind. So I will probably say my first 20, uh, I've been doing this 40 customer notebook now for, the. Uh, I'll just say five years, I'm not remembering. So we'll say 25 years I spent more money building new customers when we all know it takes less money to keep a customer. OK, and so uh, that's when I finally realized actually somebody had posted in one of the groups about 40 customers. So I really don't know who to credit for that, but I just took it uh, that you were 40 customers or they had a chart. I don't even know what theirs was, but I took it and uh, started my idea of the, the how to build a national court of sales with 40 customers. So could y'all get excited thinking about doing national quarter sales with just 40 customers? Okay, that's exciting. Okay. Uh, so, and, and just so you know that when you do this, if you do this plan, uh, then you're looking at 16 to $20,000 profit for your family. Um, and I think that's pretty exciting. Um, and this can happen by building a solid firm foundation by having having a fabulous customer and tracking system uh, so i want to tell you you have to plan ahead on this okay you got to get organized uh, and have you got to think of everything that would keep you from doing this such as for me what would keep me from tracking okay what would keep me from tracking is if I have to find, I know these are silly little things, but if I have to find a marker, okay? If I have to find a marker to track, then I'm not gonna, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow turns into the next day and the next day, okay? So honestly, I bought Velcro and I put it on, I put a piece of Velcro on the poster and then I put a Velcro on the pen and I left the pen Velcro to the poster so that I would do it. In all honesty, if you do not think of all the things that will trip you up, you will not do this. Um, so if you don't plan, see, people don't plan to fail. They just 
fail to plan. And if you don't plan your day, then somebody else is going to plan it for you. Okay. And I'll say this, if you don't plan, so if I don't have my day planned today, then my son, I'm just a, for instance, my son will call him, mom, what are you doing tomorrow? Can you keep the boys? Well, I know I'm going to be working in my office. I just don't have a set plan. Does that make sense? So therefore I can't say to him like, oh, I've got to do this or I've got to do this. Okay. But if it's planned and it's on my calendar, then I can say, oh my goodness, I've got, I've got uh, an appointment at nine. That appointment at nine may be to call 10 customers for booking, but it's planned. Does this make sense, y'all? Okay. So now here's some tips for success. When you work this business, it works. Know the days and the hours that you will work your business and be specific. What days, again, don't just think, oh, whatever day anybody needs me, you got to decide which days that you're going to work and you must work your plan. Uh, and that's where the 40 customer notebook will come in. In all honesty, what it is doing is it is actually the 40 customer notebook is creating your day for you because every time you do something with a the customer, then, you know, you give her a coupon or whatever you give that today then you're going to uh make a courtesy note and put it over a couple of days and you're going to start to call her on those days um so everything you're starting to create your days okay um uh let's see have a list of people with their phone numbers when you call so if we decide today that we're going to start this plan okay we're going to work on 40 customers now just so you know, there is 52 weeks in a year, okay? So really, we're not even working every week because we're just working 40 of them. But if you did it at least one a week, that would be 52 customers instead of one. So, um, but make your list of people that you're going to call with their phone numbers. You don't want to take up any time looking up numbers and all of that. Uh, and I will tell you the stats of... Um, 2% of sales and bookings happens on your first contact. 3% uh, of your sales is going to happen on the second contact. 4% on the third contact. 10% of your sales and bookings is going to happen on the fourth. 81% of your sales and bookings are going to happen after the fifth contact. Okay, because I know y'all can get hung up on thinking, oh my gosh, people are ignoring me. People don't want to have a facial with me because they're not answering me back. But you guys, you have to remember, how many times have you looked at a message and you, you, you do plan on calling those people back or, but they get lost in your messages, okay? So just remember that it's gonna take, in order to meet these goals of facialing 40 people or whatever it is that you wanna do, it's gonna take at least five tries to get her to agree to do what you're asking her to do, okay? That is just the average, okay? Um, so uh, have your name and numbers ready. Um, know that you, this was, I love this, okay? Know that you don't have to love everything about your job for it to be your dream job, okay? One night at a meeting, okay, does that like, like blow some of your all's minds, okay? Because one night I was at a meeting and I realized I had a consultant that said, I just don't love doing Mary Kay the way you do. And she goes, but you love everything about it. And it hit me. No, I do not. I don't like packing for a class. I don't lo love loading up my car. I don't love all. Of, I don't love booking. To be honest, I don't like making booking calls. I don't like to do those things. But I love the result from doing those things. I love the money that it creates for my family by doing those things. So you don't have to love everything about your job for it to be your dream job. Stay off social media and YouTube looking for new ways and new ideas. Okay, talk to your director because the confused mind shuts down. Too many ideas, you're not going to run with them. Uh, when in doubt, ask your director, uh, have a goal with the deadline and it needs to bro be broken down yearly, monthly, um, and weekly. Always tell your customers what's in it for them. So one of the things being brand new in Mary Kay, Linda Tupin uh, is my uh, national emeriti, but 
the first, I guess the first month I was in Mary Kay, one of the first things that she taught me was to learn booking script and know your hostess plan. That if you woke up out of a dead sleep, you could book somebody and you could tell them what the hostess plan was. And you know what? Now for 30 years, I pretty much am still using the same booking strip, script and truly I'm using the same hostess plan. I don't change. I might change the way I say it, but pretty much my booking script is the same that I've used. Instead of, I might say, be a model for me in my model portfolio, or I might say, be a model, uh, a green eyed model for me. So it's the same script. So instead of always having to worry about something new, if you tell people what's in it for them, and I say my booking script so fast because I know it and I could wake up out of a dead sleep and say it. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, Cindy, this is Brenda. Uh, Brenda Howe, listen, I would love for you to be a model for me in my model portfolio. Is there any reason why you couldn't help me out? I'll give you $10 in Mary Kay just for being my model. So, I mean, like it just comes off of my tongue like that. Um, so, um, enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process, okay? The process is facials and parties. And I think for the most part, everybody is probably either back in the field or working to get back in the field. Um, so I think that is the best way. And if we can't do it, then we can do the, you know, do our, our private groups and send samples and whatever. But we're going to work on building one, one customer at a time, one face a week. Uh, know your booking script, I already said that. When you set a big goal, expect the enemy to attack or distract, okay? You can expect that because anytime you set something big, the enemy is gonna go after you. He wants to distract you. And uh, the last thing before I move into the national uh, 40 customers to Nash, uh, uh, national court of sales is knowledge is information. So that's all the stuff that I'm going to give you right now is information and then that becomes knowledge, okay? Wisdom is application. So that means you got to go apply it, okay? So wisdom is knowledge applied. So you can have all of this knowledge, but if you don't use it, it's just a waste of your time and a waste of mine, okay? So now the National Court of uh, sales 40 customers away this is a hard copy system there is a tech uh, a techie way to do it I'm not a techie girl I have to see things I have to have it in front of me and so um, if you want to build a customer base to 40 per year those customers only have to buy a thousand dollars. And I'm going to tell you what those items are for me. Uh, so that's 16 to 20 thousand dollars profit. You can recruit a woman working a full time job and teach her how to do this little system. And so she could work a full time job and build a national Queens Court of Personal Sales by doing this little um, thing. Uh, doing this little whatever this is tracking system so how do you do it you're going to focus on 26 products with each customer so the 26 products are this is just the items that I use and the, the most exciting thing about this is there's only so I made a list and there's only eight skincare products here okay so when we talk about uh, there's 26 items it is Eight is skincare and the rest is color. Um, like, a, for instance, it's eyeliners, blushes. Um, and the thing about this is I even tell you how many times a year they need to purchase it. Okay. So let me just go ahead. I'm probably jumping ahead. So I may repeat myself. So originally for my notebook, I created this chart. Okay. This was a chart that actually went in your notebook. So when I had a facial with somebody, I would come home and I would take my profile card. I'd write her name. I would write her name on this. And I went across here and I checked off because honestly, okay, for me, I do all these products at a facial. Okay. I'm even including a brush set. So microdermabrasion, I do that. Uh, at a facial or a party with everybody. So these items is pretty much what I facial everybody with. And so whatever they buy, I come home 
and I put their name, even if they buy mascara, you want to put her on here because your goal is going to be to get her on all of these products, okay? And so I would take my profile card. I have my assistant to write the name on here and then go across here and check. Well, that sounded great, okay? So Linda has also always taught us that um, unless you're doing it, it's theory, okay? So this notebook actually started out as theory. So she, before we ever trained, she wanted to make sure we was actually doing it and it was working, all right? And so it worked, but then I found for me that if that little paper got put up, again, it was like my profile card, it was out of sight, out of mind. So I sent this to Office Depot, that same sheet I just told you, and I had a poster laminated, okay? I had this poster laminated and I use it over and over every year. And I put it over here. I've just redone my office, so it's not on the wall right now. Uh, so I put this over on my wall. So when I sit at my desk, every day I can look over at my customers and before I could think, oh my gosh, how long has it been since I've talked to her? Because you all know it can be a year before you know it and somebody has not purchased from you, okay? Or repurchased from you. So I could look at this and go, oh my gosh, okay? So my goal was, and like I said, I have the little, I have the little uh, check marks, like the little uh, squares, a cleanser. There's two squares, which means she needs to buy two cleansers every year, two moisturizers, two microdermabrasion sets. Um, and then some of them are just one time they need to rebuy. So I will look, and in order for her to purchase the, the thousand dollars, I am always looking at my board to know where they are, okay? Um, so focusing on the 26 items, most of them are going to be just reordering two times a year. Again, you can actually go watch my videos and I, I, I do a little bit better of breaking all that down. But what is a solid customer? Because I said it's 40 solid customers. So uh, 40 uh, solid customers is somebody that is buying those 26 items. Uh, someone that you have facial and someone that you have put on PCP. Okay. Um, how will you sell these? focus products to her. So I call these 26 items my focus products. So this is the products that I want to be putting on everybody's face. Um, so how will you sell those to her? One thing is to know your products, okay? So the exciting thing is we don't have to know about every product in the book, okay? We don't have to know about, I don't even know how many items we have, but 26 is what I need to focus on, okay? And some of them aren't even hard, like the brush set, whatever. We don't even have to know all that stuff about them. Um, but so you're going to know your product. So you're going to go to Product Central and I print out the fact sheets. I love our fact sheets and I print them out and I even put these in reorder bags. If I give samples out to somebody, I stick it on the the fact sheet so that they have now you're going to have your people that could care less about knowing all the facts then you're going to have your people that's going to want to know more about it than you even know about it so i am just safe and give them the fact sheet so uh anytime i do a live or whatever i always have the fact sheets in front of me uh, i may not need them but i want to have them just in case um, that i need to know it so you want to know all the benefits about each of these 26 products, okay? Um, know why she uses the brand she's using. This is why you want to have the facial with her. So when she, I actually even have another little chart that kind of looks like this, only I have some, a few questions up here that I want to ask her. But instead of the profile card, I have her to fill out this little sheet that just says, circle the products you use. Okay, because she may not be somebody that uses skincare. Uh, so I have her to go through and she may use way more product than you even think about. Um, and I'll even say if there's product you use that's not on here. Oh my gosh, our time is up. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to talk to in this. Uh, okay, so these little, um, oh, now I'm just, I, I, I'm like distracted. Um, 
but I want to know why she is using the brand she uses. Uh, why is she using the brand she uses? Okay, and that's why I have her to fill out this little sheet so that I could actually say, tell me the products you do use. And so I want to be confident in what I'm selling her. I want to be confident in the products that I'm offering her. And then I'll end it here, I guess, since this is all I have time for. But be confident in the products that, that you are, are selling. And then you want to, when I give her, let's just say I'm facialing her and she's uh, talking to me because I've asked her about all these products um, that she is using and have her circle it. But she uses, uh, let's just say she uses Sephora primer. Then I could say, if I gave you like a three or four day supply, like you could give her probably a couple of little packets of primer, or you could squirt it out of a tube into one of those little jars that you can buy from Amazon and say, would you be willing to try this on the right side? My brain says the right, do the right thing to the right side. I don't say that to her, but do it on the right side and then use your product. And you know I, what I would love because I know you love your product. Uh, I would love to get your opinion about mine. Uh, and you may end up uh, finding out you may love mine. It may save you money. It may not. But I would love and value your opinion on what you think about this product. So whatever it is of these 26 items that I want to get her on, that's what I'm going to do is just let her give me um, her opinion of it while trying her product, okay? She can try her product on one side and mine on the other. But I also do want to say to her, what do I need to do to get all your cosmetic business? Just like when a drug rep goes into a doctor's office, they want to know what do I need to do to get all of your drug business, okay? So I want to know what do I need to do to get all of your cosmetic business? And I want her to know that she can count on me. I'm going to be there for her if it's, if it's midnight and she needs her mascara and I really don't want to make the delivery, I'm going to do whatever it takes so that she trusts me, okay? And I want to create value um, in me, okay? Uh, let me see. I'm going to end. Uh, let's see. There was something else that I found. Well, everything I say is important, but anyway. Uh, okay. I guess that's it. I guess that's all I have time for. I have a whole nother page of notes, but I know we need much more time <laughs> for this, but I appreciate you all sharing your lunch break with me and Jennifer, I will turn it back to you. Well, thank you so much, Brenda, for taking that time. I'm going to box for you my email and I'll have you send me that. I have it, I think, but if you send an email, then I can attach it to the recording. Um, and that way everybody has everything else that you were, you know, the packet, everything. If you don't mind, if that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Okay, we'll do that, ladies. And that way I can put it out there to all of you in my normal location. So if this is your first time, however you found out about it, go to that resource. And that's how you'll get the recording and the information. Thank you, Brenda. You're, I'm telling you, girls, this packet works. Two brand new girls. One was only in nine months. And she did natural court of sales off this program. It's phenomenal. And I just greatly appreciate your time. I know how busy you are. And um, well, we all appreciate your brilliance in your time. Everything Brenda always shares. She's so go give. She shares so many things all the time. And I just want you to know we see that and we appreciate that, my friend. All righty. Well, thank you for inviting me. Yes, I hope you all have an amazing Thursday. If you, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. I know there's a delay. It's probably because I'm traveling. But thank you, ladies, all for hopping on and being part of this. Share with your girlfriends, and we'll get this out and have an amazing Thursday. And if you're heading to seminar like me, I'll see you soon. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye, everyone.